what's up everybody right now I'm in Firestone um, my I had to get my um, car done for emissions test you know I don't know how it is in you guys state but um my car failed emissions you know every other year you have to get it inspected I guess it's about clean air and pollution well my 2005 Kia failed so you know every state's different some states need inspections we need emission tests and so I'm here at Firestone waiting on my car, um, see what the problem is. And if you pay $150, you can get a waiver. So it's gonna cost $100 just to do a diagnostic. And they're gonna tell me why it failed emissions. If it's not too much money, I'll probably go ahead and fix it. But not today. I get paid, I get paid on Friday, so. And today is Monday, so I'll get paid on Friday and then I'll probably get it fixed. But. Um, so yeah, if you pay $150 here in the state of Washington, you can get a waiver and now they won't charge you again for another test. You can get it waived and you'll be fine. You can get back on the road because the emissions doesn't mean your engine's not working because I didn't have a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Engine light warning. So I didn't have that. So I should be good to go. My car's running pretty good as far as I can see. But um, so I'm going to do that. I'm in Firestone right now, waiting on my car. Sipping on a little bit of coffee, drinking some water, just ate some McDonald's breakfast. Yeah, but I'm just chiming in with y'all, let y'all know what's going on with Hollywood sports. And uh, then when I get this done, um, I have to go and get my father-in-law's car that was in front of the house. I'll show y'all um, in this vlog when I go do that. And um, yesterday I tried to go pick his car up, but it wouldn't start. It was dead. I couldn't even jump it off. So I got to go take the battery out, go get the battery charged. And uh, his spare tire is jacked. Hopefully, if I remember when I get there, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. His spare tire doesn't look like it's the right one. It's in bad shape. So, I went to go put some air in it at the gas station, the Safeway gas station. And it was just like ballooning like a, uh, like a donut. And like it was going to explode. So, I had to take that off. So, I'm going to go to the auto parts store and get some stop leak. And uh, put it in the tire. Hopefully, I can drive it to my sister-in-law's house. Um, to get it off the road, he's still talking about driving it, but we're not going to let him drive because I don't think he's going to pass the test anyway. Um, but I did find out today that um, in 2019, there ain't going to be no more emissions tests. Uh, so that's a good that's good news right there. We'll never have to worry about emissions tests again. So I uh, just want to let you know about that. And uh, see you guys in a little bit. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Hey guys, I'm at the Firestone dealer getting my car worked on, but I just saw that Orlando Scandrick just got signed by the Washington Redskins, baby. Hell to the Redskins. Orlando Scandrick, cornerback Orlando Scandrick, veteran cornerback Orlando Scandrick. Orlando Scandrick just got signed by the Washington Redskins. You know, Washington, Washington needs some secondary help. You know, I really haven't followed uh, Orlando Skandrick that much, but uh, hopefully he can help us, guys. But, uh, you know, Washington's trying to put it together, so we'll see. The Redskins are trying to put it together, so we will see. Orlando Skandrick. Uh, so let me know in the comment section, guys. I can probably look it up a little bit, probably after I'm done with this uh, video, and uh, kind of see who, who he's all about, see how old he is and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, Orlando Skandrick is now signed with the Washington Redskins. Let me know how you feel about it in the comment section. Let me know, guys. Hell to the Redskins. Hell to the Redskins. Let's do it. What's up, guys? Now I'm at the auto parts store, guys, and uh, I got to go, get some oil for my car. And I have to get my father-in-law that thing to fix his tire. It's called Stop Leak. So to get it up, just to get it blown up and taken to my sister-in-law's house. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I just found something else out when I was trying to get my emissions done. I mean, we're trying to find out why my car failed emissions. But uh, I'll tell you about that later. But right now, I need to find me some oil and the stop leak. Let's see. Mm, where we at, where we at, where we at, where we at? Okay, here we go with the oil. Let's see. Um, I think I need 
Five. Yeah, I need five W twenty or is it five W thirty? I don't remember. I'm gonna go find out. I gotta make sure I buy the right stuff. Um, let's see. See if I can get some help here. Um. The reason why I had to buy me a new funnel, and I had to buy more oil. I already had. I keep, I keep extra oil in my uh, in the in the back of my car because there's a really small. I think I told y'all it in another vlog. There's a really small. Um, leak in the back of my engine and um, they said it wasn't worth fixing taking the engine out spending all that money for the type of car you know the, the year this car is a 2005 is really old so uh, yeah so like once a month man I might have to put some oil in it and I, when I checked it I should have done it a long time ago just a little bit below Okay guys, I'm chiming back in. I'm pulling up to the uh, emissions station so I can get my waiver and get my, so I can go to DMV and get my brand new car tabs for 2018. See right there, state emissions inspection station. I gotta grab one of these tickets here. There we go. He's gonna ask for the ticket. Yeah, guys, this is where we go to get this cart thing done. So I don't know if they gotta retest it, you know, but we'll see. All I'm getting is a waiver. They already stamped my paperwork. It says test result waived, model 2005. Um, so there we go, guys, there we go. March 19th, 2018. Guys, I just stopped by the car and uh, the police is going by me. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, I just stopped by to get the battery out of the car. And uh, you know what? I'm going to get this dash thing for my phone, for my camera right away, man. I got I to gotta get me a dash cam. Anyway, I stopped by the house, man, to take the battery out so I can go to get it charged. And guess what? Guess what? I forgot the keys to the car, man. I left the keys to the car at house, at the house. So now I'm gonna go get my tabs at the DMV, drive all the way back to the house. Cause guys, it's kind of like on the other side of town where I moved at. It's about a 20 minute drive, 15, 20 minutes. So man, I'm probably just gonna put this thing off to uh, to Thursday when I'm, my next day off, you know. Um, Cause I have to work tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday. And then I'll be off Thursday and I'll try to do it again and put get this car, man, because uh, I still got to get the battery charged. And ain't no telling it if they can get it back to me today, guys. And uh, I'm just, I just, I just didn't want this to take all day on my day off, man. I, I thought I could get this thing done by noon, at least get the battery in charge and just take the dumb car back to my sister-in-law's house. That's all I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to do, guys. But one thing I want—I appreciate you guys for watching the vlogs, man. Uh, you uh, engraving, you and the wife, you Mr. Uh, and Miss Engraving. I appreciate you guys watching the vlog. I know engraving. You were talking about on, on your uh, on your one of your live streams I came to how y'all like to watch them back to back to back to back to back. But guys, I'm filming them like crazy. But I do appreciate. The engraving family for watching the vlogs, man. Even Carter, man. Yeah, yeah, even Carter. All right, guys, man. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, tune out right now, man. I'm, like I said, I'm back on my way to the DMV. And then I got to go all the way back home and get those keys to that Cadillac. That pimp mobile. <laughs> all right, guys. I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, it's a bit, man, this turned out to be a beautiful day, man. It's turned out to be a beautiful day. But all right, guys, I got my tabs. I just came out of the DMV. Uh, and I'm going to put my tabs on, guys, for 2019.
First, I gotta clean this off. You see it says 2019 for March. So, uh, I don't know guys, people tell me that you can still drive in the month of March as long as it's not April. Um, you know, as far as ex expiration, or do you have to have it on the exact day? Because mine said March the 1st, but um, clean this dirt off so the sticker sticks. You know, I had somebody steal a stick off my car one time. <laughs> I had to pay a fee, but they just gave me another one. But it had to be done with the police report. I just couldn't say it was stolen. Anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and put the new stick on real quick. All right, here we go. See if I can do this right. Okay. Here we go, guys. 2019. How's that look? See, Washington. All right. Let's see. There it is. Thought I lost my tissue there. Make sure it's on there nice and good. You know me being in a parking lot doing this, man. Sometimes you gotta make sure people ain't think you're trying to steal license tabs. You know, people report everything these days. Nothing wrong with that. You know, you want to catch the criminals. But uh, yeah, there we go, guys. It expires next next year, March 2019. It's funny, guys. I was just getting into the car, and this young couple was just getting out of the car. I wanted to vlog them, but you know, I can't vlog people like that. Uh, she was like, what you talking about? You tripping right now? You trying to not marry me right now? He didn't say nothing, man. He just grabbed her hand and kept walking. But I don't know what he said, but she was like, what are you talking about? You tripping? What are you trying trying not to marry me right now? <laughs> that was so funny. He just grabbed her hand and then kept walking. All right, guys, I'll see you in a minute. Hey, guys, have you ever seen this drink called Sparkling Ice? Um, and it's got zero calories. Uh, with the vitamins and antioxidants i drink this a lot guys this stuff is really good i recommend it uh safeway normally has it i don't know who else drinks it but i normally get this from safeway um i just bought it on my way out from the uh, annex when i got my tabs you see right sit right here it says zero fat sodium carbs zero sugars protein zero protein um it's got vitamin d vitamin b6 as you can see guys uh, biotin 10%, vitamin B3, vitamin B12, vitamin B5. Uh, so, uh, green tea extract, extract, you know, they say green tea is actually good for you. So, guys, I drink this a lot, man, you know, it was, uh, so um, it's actually pretty good, guys. They sell them in a lot of different colors. You ought to try it if you want to, like, cut down on your sugar intake. Not let's say you got to drink this all the time because I don't. But I drink it a lot, but, you know, just to keep down my daily sugar amount for diabetes, you know, I drink this stuff, man. So, I recommend it, guys. It's pretty good. All right, guys. Uh, I just picked those CDs up I was telling you about earlier. And, um, you know, he actually kept two or three of them, gave me two bucks for them. But uh, he told me half, half, this place called Half Price Books. They'll buy some of them. So, I'm going to give it to go drop these CDs off and take them over there see if I can get, get some money for them. And if you guys don't remember, I was talking about my brother-in-law being a hoarder and having too many CDs. He could open his own store. But uh, yeah, man, I told him he got to get rid of some of them because they were all over his room there where he didn't have them organized or nothing. So uh, I'm going to see if I can go sell them, guys. And supposedly he got some games in there too, some Xbox game and some Blu-ray DVD, stuff that I didn't even know was in there. So I'm going to try to go sell all this stuff, guys, and uh, I'll see you in a minute.
Guys, I just went to this place uh, trying to sell the rest of these CDs. This place called Fire in, in the mall. So hopefully they'll, you know, get what they can. I'll get some cash for it. Um, yeah. I took some of them into the half price books, like I just said, and they took some of them, but they didn't take a lot. I can't tell you how much I made because then you might want to borrow some money. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I just dropped a whole bunch of CDs off. I'm hoping they take most of them so I can get a little cash, you know, a little gas money, a little here and there. You never know, guys. But, um, you know, he's a hoarder and uh, he just got all kind of crap in his room. So we just had to get rid of some of that stuff, man. But there you have it, man. You guys know what's going on with Hollywood sports.